Solid, nigga. Real street, nigga. 100%, 110%. Ain't no cut on this shit, nigga. This shit blue magic, nigga. Like Frank Lucas, nigga. I don't got it. What's good, YouTube? Back with another video. Your boy, Casey and his bitch. And we do look tired as shit because it is about 3 in the morning. And you already know who I got my dog with. So if I'm showing this motherfucker. MF. And it's crunch time. My dog said, though. And you already know, we back with another reaction video for my, for my nigga Kodak. At first, I want to say, hey, man, RP to XX Natasha. I don't even know this is probably uploading the day after, obviously. But RP X, man, we miss you, bro. We love you. We spread good vibes, bro. He's a good person. At the end. He's a good person, bro. He just had a lost soul at one, one point. Hold on. I should turn that shit off. Hey. But hey man, we got another reaction. You know, call that black dropped a new video about Malcolm XXX. You feel me? Basically, you already know Malcolm and obviously XXX and Tassion. And <coughs> that boy got 310,000 views so far. So you better go ahead and check this video out right now. RPX man. And let's get straight into the video. Minister Malcolm, the thing that I thought might be good for starting it off is to talk about one of the most pervasive beliefs in the general society about the nation. First, I want to say this is probably like a little old vibe. No cap. I seen a little bit, like I ain't gonna lie, I seen like a preview. It was like Kodak was in school and shit. Or Congress, I don't know. Some shit like that. I saw him shout it out. Talking to you like talking to myself. Cause it ain't no getting through to you at all, that's well. This nigga got this thick-ass black afro. But it makes sense, though, because, like, that's what they stand back in the day. So, yeah. Ain't no wigs back then. Mm-hmm. But that sick-ass, um, freeform shit. And I've been thinking about you since I came to jail. I tried to reach out to you, but it was to no avail. Guess it ain't nothing else to do when we all grew each other. We hard now beefing like we never knew each other. Talk about the poop, no bikini, became my life now. I'm sipping Bellini, living that lifestyle. And that is that it is an organization. That shit real though. He's going crazy. That boy's like he's in. He's talking to the people. He's like Martin Luther King, Loki. Um, what's real about Kodak? But he dropped this on June 18th, the day he died, bro. That's real as fuck. No cap. Dedicated to the use of violent means to attain its goals. The question I have is, how true is this? And why do you think it persists in society? Popping pills, popping pistols, I put my mic down. I almost lost my life that night, I was on a bloodhound. They trying to tell us, put the bikes up and the guns down. S was trying to buy a bike, then he got gunned down. S was trying to change his life, but he got gunned down. S one round with... That's true, dog. He was just trying to buy a bike, and he got gunned down. And they'll tell us, put the bikes up and put the guns down. But niggas still getting gunned down. She crazy. With no pipe, so he got gunned down. Listen, do as I say, don't do as I do. Nine out of ten, it ain't going to end up looking good for you. And that's facts. That's for people trying to be followers. Stop trying to be a follower, bro. Do what you do. Not what someone else is doing, you feel me? That life ain't meant for everybody. Never at any time been guilty of initiating any aggressive acts of violence. During the entire uh, 33 years or more that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad has been teaching us. The... If I weren't rich, you wouldn't be pulling up to my funeral. First they kissing you, hugging you, and then they suing you. That's, 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 that's some crazy shit, bro. If I wasn't rich, you'd be pulling up to my funeral? He spent all facts on this song. You shit. First they love you and shit. Now they suing you. Like, that's just crazy, bro. That's the, that's what... Niggas be switching up, bro. It's family, too. If it was me, it was you. I'm wondering what you would do. I just pulled up on your mama, homie. She beautiful. Yeah, gotta keep the scrap. Can't let you latch all on me. I got married to the game. She put these racks all on me. Now I got diamonds on my ring. Look like a matrimony. First she's screaming my name. Then fall a lawsuit on me. You'll hate to see me reach my full potential. You 
you want me robbing, popping mileage, popping pistol. I'm going to college, cut to the youngest, I'm influential. Thought it was Congress, they ain't know this was a presidential. And I would like to see when he was saying, he said, you rather be robbing, popping mileage, popping pistol. Everybody say they missed the old Kodak. That's what you mean. G. Like, bro, come on now. And niggas always gonna grow, bro. I don't like how Kodak getting smarter. His, his dogs want him to be on that little hot shit. Like, nah, bro, he's getting richer and he's only getting smarter, bro. Kodak, you did pull one dumbass move. I don't know I don't know if your dog's got in your head of what you've been locked up for now. Or the but, nigga and him just over overwhelmed him. G shit. But, yeah. That shit crazy, bro. They didn't know that I was intellectual. You trying to change your life, but they won't let you. I know they know I'm special. Why they playing with me? You're talking jewels. I'm dropping jewels. You see the difference? Carving jewels for your dog. They don't appreciate it. Everybody going to say you fake when you make it. Back and if once you make it, do not listen to them. No cap. Like, once we make it, I'm pretty sure hella people go tell us we fake. I'm pretty sure at least 70% of people go say we fake. Either because... When we was grinding, they wasn't supporting us, but then they start supporting us when we, like, at, what, 100K subscribers or something? In certain scenarios like that, like, bro, no fault for that shit, bro. Even if it's family. Get a Maybach with the tent so you don't notice me. When the money bring the fan, you can't even roll in peace. Guess all the pain that I went through had to be the recipe. I still talked to it all and brought out the best in me. Hey, yo, dismiss all them charges. That ain't my destiny. Everything I said, I stood on it. I got integrity. GA, I put my hood on it. I bring the chest with me. You need security by your grave so you can rest in peace. Uh -huh. Charge of violence against that. And that's a fact, bro. He, be, he put his hood on. He put his hood on. And when he said, um, what he said? You need security by your grave for you to rest in peace? That's crazy, because rappers real deal, we need, we need security guards, bro. Because niggas real deal hate you that much to go to your graveyard and spray paint the shit or something. Like they did the wife and Lucci's homeboy. Like they wrote slap all over that shit. Like that shit ain't cool, bro. That shit crazy. This actually stems from a guilt complex that exists in the conscious and subconscious minds of most white people in this country. They know that they've been violent in their brutality against Negroes. And they feel that someday the Negro is going to wake up and try and do unto them as they have done unto, do unto the whites as the whites have done unto us. I mean, hopefully that day doesn't come. I wouldn't want to wish no war on nobody. But hey, bro. Niggas, these, these, like, no offense, like, to any white viewers that watch us, like, to, it's the other Caucasian people. Like, it's really crazy what they be doing to us out here, you feel me? Like, you really got to stand for yourself. Stand your ground, bro. Like, when, when Kodak said he's dying how he's living, he's died by his respect. Like, to be honest, die by your respect, bro. I'll die by mine, I ain't gonna lie. And they got me fucked up. And I don't gotta ask him. Look at this guy. You think he'll die by his... You think he'll live... Let a nigga size him? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You're crazy as fuck, bro. But hey, Kodak, man, that video was a banger, bro. Keep dropping these hits. You go beat this charge. Keep doing you. Hey, man, full game. We out. RPXX and Gang.